guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin all this story would develop after goku and vegeta have defeated on two occasions all the warriors were very worried about the future of trunks however in all of them a doubt and hatred would happen knowing that all this was happening because of goku after a while, where Goku and Vegeta had trained a little, Vegeta had increased his power in a great way. While Goku had learned the Mafuba, when they all returned to the future, they started again with their great battle. However, this time Trunks managed to successfully seal Zamatsu, where Goku and Vegeta were only facing Black after 35 minutes of battle. Black would be in terrible condition and was not able to continue with the battle. That's what you get for wanting to destroy all the mortals! They are, Goku. You give your life for them. But in one occasion, that'll lead to your death. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. They're my friends. They would never do something like that to me. However, at that precise moment, Vegeta would charge a small sphere of energy, which was directed towards Black. But at that instant, Vegeta would turn quickly and Goku would be without guard. He would be pierced, falling badly wounded to the ground. Black would be very surprised to realize what the Prince of the Saiyans had done. V v vegeta what the hell are you supposed to be doing? Kakarot, this is the good for our timeline and for the good of to the 12 universes. Your ability to get us into trouble is impressive, and we can't allow this. That's what I mean, Goku. The mortals are despicable beings who will betray you when they have the slightest opportunity. Trunks will return to our timeline, while well, you'll be locked in the time room for this era. Sorry, Kakarot. Vegeta quickly took Black and Goku and went to the temple of Kamisama, which was a little destroyed, but this time room was still intact. Vegeta! Don't do this! If you lock me in this place, I swear I'll continue with the Zero Death Plan myself! <laughs> Damn insect, I'll never be able to leave this place. Vegeta at the moment was throwing him into the time room. He would destroy the entrance and at that very moment, Vegeta would increase his power to the limit. Even his muscles would grow too much. If I use this power in battle, I would lose irretrievably. Since my muscles are so big, they'd make me slow. But the power is amazing and this is enough. Vegeta would launch a great attack to the dimension. That attack was special. That's right, Vegeta, being much smarter than Goku, was able to master his power to create a barrier around the entire realm of everything. This will be enough, since you'll have to destroy the same dimension of the time room in my seal. But Trunks, let's get back to your new home. Vegeta and Trunks would return thanks to the time machine. When they arrived, everyone would ask Goku. At that moment, Vegeta and Trunks began to explain everything that happened. At the beginning, all of Goku's friends would be a little angry. However, they knew it was the right thing to do and everyone would accept it. However, a much bigger problem was approaching. Meanwhile, in the future of Trunks, more specifically in the time room, Goku and Black were still on the verge of death. Goku would take out one of the seeds that Piccolo had given him from his attire, recovering all his powers quickly and at that moment he'd observe Black. One thing you're right about is that all mortals are trash. I gave my life for them. So now Kakarot and Black will be the ones to execute the Zero Human Plan! Goku would throw a seed to Black in the same way. Black at that moment of eating it would heal all his wounds, but just like Son Goku, he had obtained an incredible Zenkai. So now that you're with me, what's the first thing we'll do, oh Goku? First of all, stop calling me Goku. My real Saiyan name is Kakarot. And second of all, we'll train to be able to take out all those bastards. Okay, Kakarot. But remember, this time not only mortals are our enemies, if we go back to your timeline, all the gods will turn against us. I know, Black. For that very reason, we must train in this place. Vegeta left us in the perfect place to increase our power, so we must make the most of it. I understand, Kakarot. Then that's what we'll do. But how will we defeat all the gods and angels if they get in our way? First, we must increase our power to the limit. When our powers no longer increases in the same way, we'll call the king of all Xenosama. The king of everything Xenosama? He'll wipe us out in an instant. In another matter, what do you plan to call him? We can't leave this place. At that moment, Kakarot would show him the button that Xenosama had given him in his timeline. 
Xenosama being like a child would be very easy to manipulate, so we won't be a problem. When we have manipulated him, we'll have the king himself train us. Black would be a little surprised to hear Kakarot's plan. What will happen when we're done with our training? That's more than obvious. We'll kill the dwarf. We'll get out of this damn place and we'll start our revenge against all those bastards. Black at that moment would understand all of Kakarot's plan and without wasting any time, both began to train in an incredible way with the intention of increasing their powers in a fast and safe way. Meanwhile, in the past, Beerus and Wiz had arrived to planet Earth because the king of everything had requested an exhibition tournament. Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, let's go to the exhibition tournament since you'll be facing Universe 9. At that moment, a tense atmosphere was fell all over the planet Earth. That's right, no one present knew how to tell him what happened with son Goku. At that moment, Whis would notice the presence of Trunks, however, not the presence of Lord Goku. Well, well, apparently something very serious has happened, as I can tell Mr. Goku is not in the entire Universe 7. At that moment, Beerus would be very astonished by Whis's words. At the moment of asking for an explanation, he was furious and would raise a part of his Hawkeye energy, and at the same instant, Vegeta would step in front of everyone, explaining to Beerus everything they had done with the Saiyan Goku. You did what did you do? This is something very difficult to assimilate. Uh, the same friends of Mr. Goku for whom Mr. Goku gave his life. Mr. Beerus, Whis, please understand that Kakarot's insect only brought misfortune. Because of him, the Tournament of Power was organized. At that moment, Beerus and Whis would remain silent knowing that what the Saiyan Vegeta had said was true. This is no time to argue. In that case, Vegeta, Trunks, and Majin Buu, you will be the representatives of Universe 7 in this exhibition tournament. At that moment, everyone went to the planet of the Supreme Kaoshin to arrive quickly to the place where Daishaken was selected. However, Kai was a little surprised because he did not observe Goku. At the moment they arrived, Daishaken would begin with the explanation of the rules of the Tournament of Strength, the battles in this situation would be Majin Buu in the first battle, Trunks in the second battle, while Vegeta in the third battle. At the end of the battle, the time Topo would not jump to the platform as he did not consider Vegeta worthy, since he did not use the Super Saiyan Blue. Universe 7 takes the victory of this tournament. In this instant, I'll explain the rules of the Tournament of Power. Daishaka would explain all the rules that were known, however, this time, the time would be one month. That's right, the warriors had one month to prepare for the Tournament of Power. All the gods returned to their universes, and each of them began to train their most powerful warriors. Meanwhile, in the future, Kakarot and Black had already raised their power in an impressive way. However, at that time, Kakarot was becoming much more evil, being betrayed, his true Saiyan part had awakened. So this was much more cold and intelligent. If the Super Saiyan God was at the base state, and the Super Saiyan Blue in a nutshell is the Super Saiyan 1, we can reach the other variants of the Super Saiyan. I don't know if that's correct, because in the Divine World, the power skills are a little different from what we know. We don't lose anything trying, so we'll take our bodies to the limit. You don't know how much I hope to end the life of Vegeta's insect. The new Saiyan Prince will be me. Kakarot and Black would continue with their regular training, which consisted of achieving that their body resists all the possible energy load. To achieve this, they had to reach a physical that hardly a Saiyan could reach. However, both continued forward to buy the desire for revenge that motivated them. After spending approximately three years in that place, Black and Kakarot were able to reach phase two of their transformations. This power is incredible. I'm sure that with this power, no one will be able to face us. They won't be able to fight us. Don't get impatient, Black. When it'll reach the better of the Super Saiyan Phase 3, not to take risks. When we have reached that form and our power hasn't increased as it's currently doing, it'll be time to call the king of everything. Now, I don't believe that any god or angel will be able to face us with the power we have now. Kakarot would, at that moment, return to observe him with a serious look, which would leave Black trembling, which would again train and would say to himself, Kakarot's power of mine are similar. I don't know why I'm so afraid of him. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Vegeta, Trunks, and all the warriors were having a great training with the god Beerus and his angel Whis. That's right, no one wanted to lose, and knowing that they did not have Son Goku, they focused on the Saiyans, which increased their power in an impressive way. 
Mr. Vegeta, as I explained, now you are able to dominate your destructive power. With that power, you have a maximum defense and attack. Thank you very much, Wiss. With this power, no one will be able to face me. But Vegeta was not the only one who had increased his battle power, since Trunks had achieved the Super Saiyan God while Gohan was able to reach the Beast Mode, when Beerus threatened to end the life of his daughter. I can see that everyone has increased their power in a surprising way. I'm surprised. There's still 15 days left, in which we will increase a little bit more. We'll not let Universe 7 disappear. I'll even give my life. All the other warriors continue training, and at the moment of increasing their powers, lightning, mountains, fire spheres, everything seemed a complete chaos. Returning to the Room of Time, Kakarot and Black would continue training in the same way. To become much more powerful, after one more year, Kakarot and Black had strengthened their body in a great way. At that moment, Black felt ready to reach the Super Saiyan Phase 3 because he didn't want to stay behind Kakarot, who had reached it five months ago. Black began to increase his power in a great way, making everything around him tremble. And in the same way as the Saiyans, his power destroyed everything around him. So Black had reached the Super Saiyan Phase 3 Rose. Black's power continued to increase in a surprising way. The power he was releasing was so much that even the barrier that Vegeta had created had been destroyed. The entire planet Earth began to cause disasters as if a true god had come to that place. At that moment, Black had finished his transformation, observing him in the powerful Super Saiyan Rose Phase 3. The power was releasing was incredible. Kakarot, who had already reached the transformation six months ago, he was only dominating the energy wear. That's right, Kakarot was only dominating his new transformation. Oh yeah, I've had enough power to even eliminate the barrier of that damn Vegeta. Now I'm ready. Kakarot a little annoyed because every time Black reached a new transformation he thought he could defeat any being, Kakarot would stand in front of him. If you are so prepared, that's fine. If you manage to defeat me, I'll call Xenosama right now and we'll start with the new training. Black's body warned him not to attack, however, Black would not pay attention to his instincts, throwing himself against Kakarot, which dodged his blows with extreme ease. Black, furious because Kakarot was only playing with him and only dodged and blocked his blows, Furious would begin to attack with much more speed. However, his power was not enough. Damn it, Kakarot! If you have the power to hit me, do it! Oh, Black, if that's what you want, I'll do it! Black at that moment would be hit by a strong blow, however, it had really been an airwave. That's right, the power of the blow of Kakarot had been so much that his fist had created a blast of air that almost knocked out Black. Kakarot at that moment began to fight against Black, but unlike Black was that Kakarot was only using one of his arms. And this made Black more and more enraged, and due to the anger, he didn't fight in an intelligent way, leaving several neglected points, which Kakarot took advantage of to do great damage. After approximately 12 hours of battle, in which Kakarot had taken them as a warm-up, Black was very hurt because he had used all his power and he had not been able to do anything. How are you so powerful if we have the same body? It's true! We have the same body, but one thing that Vegeta's insect was right about is that you don't have the Saiyan cells in your soul, or rather in your spirit. That has nothing to do with it. Since all the Saiyan cells are in your, the body, they're not in the soul or spirit as you say. You're wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but the truth is that only I am able to get 100% out of my body, but I'll teach you to master it as if it were your own. At that moment, Black would fall out of combat. However, this was with a smile. To achieve the Super Saiyan Rose Phase 3, Kakarot would take him to one of the beds which had the room and let him rest and at that time Kakarot would continue training. Meanwhile on planet Earth there were only 7 days left for the Tournament of Power to begin. However, the Universe 7 had increased its power in an amazing way. That's right, the power that they had obtained had been so much that even Beerus and Whis would be surprised since the power of Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks and Frieza had grown in such an amazing way that even for Trunks, the other three were able to defeat the god Beerus, and even Vegeta and Frieza fighting together were able to force Whis to use 45% of all his power. And that was a beastly, since Whis was a guardian angel. Everyone has increased the power in a surprising way. I was shocked. With the great team, no one will be able to face Universe 7. 
At this moment, I would love for that dirty saying Goku to be here to tear him to pieces with my bare hands. I have finally overcome the power of Kakarot's insect. Now, I am the most powerful Saiyan of all the existing universes. In these last seven days, you can do whatever you want. Uh, perfect for some technique, continue training, or spend time with your family. Let's continue training. When the power of tournament is over, I can go with them because if we lose, we'll all be eliminated. What a great determination, Vegeta. You leave me surprised. Now, you are my best warrior. You've been able to s defeat Super Son Goku. The Universe 7 is in your hands. At that moment, everyone started their training again, which consisted in dominating their internal energy as well as their emotions, and at that moment, some rocks of all that place would rise, and lightning would fall all over that place. All the warriors were meditating for approximately three days. Meanwhile, in the realm of nothingness, Daishenken was building the platform of the Tournament of Power. However, this was from one moment to the other would wonder. Universe 7 in the Exhibition Tournament did not bring Lord Goku. How strange. As I understood, he was the most powerful warrior in that universe. Meanwhile, in the time room, Black had already woken up and was training in the same way. After spending three years inside, Black and Kakarot had already mastered their transformation completely, so both were ready to start their new training. At that moment, Kakarot would press Zenosama's button, making him appear in the time room a little confused. <laughs> eh? You come from another timeline. That's a felony in my multiverse. I know, Zenosama. But we've been trapped here for that reason. I was hoping that you could give us an increase of our powers to go back to our time, please. Eh, that's okay. I don't have anything else fun to do anyway, so we better start when you're ready. We're always ready. Well then, I hope you're ready because with my training, you'll want to die! That moment, Kakarot was about to say something about it. However, an impressive pressure would fall all over that place. That's right, the power of Xenosama seemed to crush them. Some parts of their bodies were more affected, even their heart began to pump much more blood to be able to recover all the lost blood. The power of Xenosama even made them both fall to the ground, returning to their base state. What the hell is this pressure? I thought I was physically strong enough to withstand it. I can't move a single finger. I feel like it's breaking all my bones. This can't be happening. If with the pressure of 5% of my power you're not able to move, then you're not worthy to receive my training. Black and Kakarot were surprised to know that the pressure they felt was only 5% of the total power of Xenosama. Kakarot, feeling humiliated, said to himself, If I access the Super Saiyan Blue Phase 3, I won't be able to do anything. But if I access the Super Saiyan God that possesses regeneration, I'll be able to do something about it. Kakarot at that moment would pass to the Super Saiyan God, however he was still unable to stand up. But after a few more minutes, Kakarot was able to stand up. However, his whole body was trembling. This is incredible. One was able to stand up and the other is simply a worm that can't do anything? Black with those words would pass to the Super Saiyan Rose Phase 1, and that was the one that consumed less energy and the one that was better controlled. Black after approximately 3 hours was able to stand up. That's right, Black was only able to stand up for only 7 seconds, and at that moment he'd fall to the ground again. That's enough. From tomorrow, we'll start with his hell. Kakarot and Black rested for the day. As they began their training, Xenosama had created multiple replicas of Black. I've created multiple replicas. When you're able to defeat them, we'll go on a new training. But don't be confident as I've given you part of my power. Kakarot and Black would begin to fight with their respective replicas, realizing that even in their most powerful transformation, they were not able to do anything to those replicas. Meanwhile, on Beerus' planet, they had already finished their meditation. At the moment, Beerus would approach everyone, but especially Vegeta and Frieza. I want to observe the maximum of your powers, so you start, Vegeta. Don't hold back. As you command, Beerus-sama, I'll leave nothing unguarded. Vegeta at that moment would begin to increase his power in such an amazing way that even the entire universe of Seven would begin to tremble. Vegeta's key was overwhelming those present except Frieza. At that moment of a great wave of purple energy, Vegeta would be observed in his Ultra Ego phase. This is my power, Beerus-sama. Your power is even more greater than mine. But if I transform, I would still be able to defeat you. But excellent level. Now you, Frieza. 
Vegeta would remain a little thoughtful since he didn't know that the God Destroyer Beerus had a transformation. At that moment, Frieza, like Vegeta, would begin to raise his power, making the whole planet tremble. Lightning and fireballs fell all around him. That's right, his power was even a little higher than Vegeta's. In the transformation from a curtain of smoke could be seen Black Frieza. This is all my power, Mr. Beerus, and my transformation I'm able to master 100%. Not like the last time I didn't master my golden state. I think it's excellent now, yes. You're able to do whatever you want in these four remaining days. I'm sure that Universe 7 will be the winner. Beerus was very sure of being the winner, however, in all the other universes, all their warriors were also training. Especially in Universe 11, Jiren and Topo had received a great training by the Daisy Angel. No one will be able to defeat Universe 11. The power of Jiren and Topo even surpasses me. I doubt that any other universe has two more powerful warriors. Do not trust Mr. Vermouth, because we could get a big surprise. Returning to Universe 7 on Earth, everyone has gathered where Bulma had created a great banquet for the Tournament of Power. I'm sure that all of you will be victorious and return safe and sound. You can take it for granted, woman. No one will be able to defeat the Prince of the Saiyans. Meanwhile, in the time room, Black and Kakarot were able to defeat the replicas that Xenosama created, and every two weeks they got used to their power. After five more years, the power of Black and Kakarot had increased in a great way, but they had not achieved any other transformation. Now that they have the physique as hard as diamond, the resistance of their body is something that any warrior could find difficult to achieve. It's time to teach them the Super Saiyan Phase 4. Super Saiyan Phase 4? Is there such a transformation? At that moment, Xenosama would throw a sphere of energy to the sky, and this would create a great explosion, since Xenosama did not control its power. Yeah. That's right, Xenosama had thrown a great wave of white energy to the ground that was assimilated to the moon, nevertheless a great explosion would be created by all that place. At the moment that everything was dissipated, Black and Kakarot would observe the moon filament. In that instant, both began to transform into two gigantic Uzorus. At the moment, Xenosama would say to himself, So you've achieved it. I hope you reach the transformation of Super Saiyan Phase 4 when you get all that majestic power. I'll absorb you! That's right, the Xenosama of the future was much more evil than the Xenosama of the past, and the only thing he wanted was the power beyond a king of everything. Xenosama watched as everything around him trembled, and various spheres of energy destroyed the whole place. I, as the king of everything, I give you the ability, divine control. At that moment, a tiny ray came out of Xenosama's finger towards Black and Kakarot, who were able to regain consciousness managing to control all that power. What happened? Why does my body feel so much bigger? So, we've transformed into Zarus. At that moment, both began to transform into Super Saiyan Phase 4. Kakarot had access to the Super Saiyan Phase 4 blue, while black to his rose state. At that moment, the whole sky of the dimension began to have rays, and at that moment, both subjects would appear with their new transformations, leaving Xenosama surprised. The power they gave off is impressive. They even surpassed the power of Dai Shanken. There's still no match for me. I'd better finish them now that I can. However, Xenosama was not the only one who planned to finish them off, since at that moment Kakarot already wished in Xenosama's life by communicating telepathically with Black. Now that we've obtained all this power, we're ready to finish with this dwarf. So get ready at the slightest opportunity, we'll do it! Don't you think it's too soon? We must master all this power. We could do that on our own since that miserable dwarf also wants to finish us off. What do you say? Why do you think that? He has been training us. As far as I can tell, what he wants is to take our powers. Since his key power is mixed with the Guardian Angels, there's no other explanation. That's right, Kakarot, by leaving his kind side, had become much more intelligent and cold, not letting anything go unnoticed. At that moment, Xenosama would approach them. Congratulations! You've reached Super Saiyan Phase 4. Now just master your power, 
that is essential for your key, as it's not so heavy and have better agility in battles. Black and Kakarot began to train. Xenosama was also looking for the opportunity to finish with one of them in one blow or leave them on the verge of death, because if being joined together, they would be a real problem. At the end of their training, both were a little exhausted, or that was what Xenosama believed, since both subjects were also reserving energy for an unexpected attack. At that very moment, Xenosama would launch an attack. It is now, mere mortals, I'll keep your powers. Xenosama would direct a powerful blow to Black, who did not have the same power as Kakarot. Since this one was a little weaker, however, he was surprised when Black had increased his power from one moment to another, pushing him away with the explosion of his key. So you really wanted to finish with all of us. You're a bastard. You never wanted to help us increase our power. You only wanted us to be part of you. There's no point in hiding my intentions. You're right. I just wanted you to become more powerful than take your power for myself. Too bad that won't be possible, because now we're capable of entering your miserable life. <laughs> ah, don't make me laugh, you fucking mortal. They must have no energy since they just finished their training, so you're not able to do anything against me. Why don't you check for yourself, if we can't do anything back? Xenosama Furious would throw himself against Kakarot and Black, but to his surprise, both released a power even greater than Xenosama knew. That's right, the power of both had been so much that it would leave even Xenosama surprised. I can't be. This hasn't been happening. I've trained those damn monsters. I agreed to lend my life. Those Saiyans just like me from the beginning through to the end of my life. At that moment, Black and Kakarot threw themselves against Xenosama, who in spite of being a king of everything was not able to do anything. That's right, Xenosama seemed to be a simple insect. The power of Black Kakarot hid was even so great that it surpassed the power of a king of everything, and they were capable of facing three Xenosamas at the same time. After Black and Kakarot had humiliated him in the worst way, they had left him very badly injured on the floor. <laughs> so you call yourself a king of everything? You've bitten the dust more times than I can remember. You're nothing more than a simple insect. We're the only true ones to be called the kings of all. Not a simple weakling like you, who doesn't even know how to rule the universes. Damn you! I should never have trusted such cursed subjects as you. I should have absorbed you from the beginning. The worst creation in all existence. Well, a simple creation will finish the king of everything. How funny, don't you think? In that instant, Black and Kakarot would touch the body of Xenosama, starting to devour all his spiritual sea. All that power was entering the body of Kakarot and Black. That's right, their bodies seemed to fill with energy. The screams of Xenosama were chilling. Xenosama at that moment regretted having finished with the lives of all the angels, since they also felt all this agony. At the moment that Xenosama was without power, they stopped absorbing energy. At that moment, the power of both Saiyans had increased in an incredible way. That's right, the power of both subjects already surpassed the power of a king altogether. This power is amazing. We must control it and we'll st finally start with what we've been wishing for a long time. At that moment, Kakarot would charge a sphere of energy, throwing it to the weakened Xenosama, finishing with the life of this one and not leaving any trace. You're right, Black. Let's master all this power and we'll finally finish with all those bastards. Kakarot and Black began to control all the power they had absorbed from Xenosama. Meanwhile, on the planet of Earth in the past, there was one day left for the Tournament of Power, in which everyone was ready. So, Universe 7 would look very confident in taking the victory. The next day, the big moment had come. The members of Universe 7 would be Frieza, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, Trunks, Master Roshi, Krillin, Tenshinhan, and Android 17 and 18. That's right, all these warriors would be the representatives of Universe 7. Well, I hope you're ready, because in five minutes, the High Priest will teleport us to the realm of nothingness. I trust you. You have the necessary power, so you can do it. At that moment, all the warriors would be teleported to the realm of nothingness, and at the moment of arriving, not so much had happened in which all the universes would begin to arrive. At the moment of arriving, the Universe 11, all the warriors gave off an amazing power, leaving surprised all the other gods and participants of the tournament. At that moment, at the top of the hole, the Great Priest would make an appearance. Thank you all for coming. 
The rules that I explained in the Tournament of Strength are still maintained, so the best universe will win. Start! In that moment, all the warriors were launched against everyone. That's right, the Tournament of Power had begun. Meanwhile, in the Room of Time, after... After that year, Black and Kakarot had been able to dominate all that heavy power. It's time, Kakarot. We're able to powerfully be enough. I agree with you, Black. It's time to pay those bastards a visit. Black would raise his power a little, being able to open a dimension, through which Black and Kakarot would leave. At the moment of leaving, Black would use his time ring, creating a space rift. But unlike before, Black, to overcome the power of a king of everything, had the ability to stay in that place as long as he wished, and would not be dragged by the space-time. Black and Kakarot would arrive to planet Earth, observing everything at the moment, Bulma noticed two subjects. She'd panic. But if it's Goku and Black, aren't you two supposed to be trapped? So you Bulma knew that Vegeta's insect did it to me, and you agreed. Now because of that act, I'm going to wipe out this whole miserable planet. Bulma would not believe what Goku would say, since she knew him since he was a child, and knew that his behavior was not like that. But her impression was great when she realized that Goku was talking seriously. That's right, the Goku she knew was dead. His heart now possessed evil. Kakarot didn't care about destroying the Earth with a single attack. That's right, the planet Earth at that moment would explode, ending the lives of all mortals. Kakarot and Black searched quickly the entire universe without success. Damn it! Where the hell are those damned ones? At that moment, Kakarot would remember the Tournament of Power, and by teleporting to the planet of Beerus, his doubts would be completely solved. Black, all the gods, angels, and most powerful mortals are in that place that Zeno Sama Daishaken created for the Tournament of Power. That'll be a problem since we don't know how to get to that place. Kakarot and Black were in deep thought. However, at that moment, they had been able to feel the power of Zeno Sama. That's right, since they both possessed a key in the same dimension of a king that they would be able to feel the power of Xenosama. Kakarot and Black would use hoods that would cover their entire face, and at that moment they would teleport, <laughs> however both had enough power to disappear their key completely, and prostrate themselves in a place that was even higher than the High Priest. Observing everything that had happened, at the moment that both subjects had arrived, at the moment no universe had been destroyed. However, the two subjects stared at the entire Universe 7, especially the Saiyan Vegeta who felt a strong pressure falling on him. What the hell is happening? I feel a pressure crushing me. Vegeta, without giving importance, would pass to the Super Saiyan Blue to relieve a little pressure. That moment, Black, without containing his anger, from above would give a scream. Prince good for nothing! You're nothing! Your power is a shame! At that moment, all the fights had stopped when observing two guys who were at the top of the mountain. Damn worm! What did you say? What you heard, insect! You're a prince good for nothing! Vegeta Furious would launch an attack, giving him a few good blows to Black. However, all the angels realized that although Vegeta's blows would hit, he wasn't hurting him. Vegeta at that moment would realize the power of his opponents passing the Super Saiyan Blue maximum power, making everything tremble and leaving surprised all the other gods. If you raise your power, I'll do the same. At that moment, Black began to increase his power, leaving everyone surprised, even Daishenken. Black's power seemed to have no limits. Black would begin to raise his power in an incredible way, leaving even Daishenken surprised, since the power that was being released was comparable to that of an angel. Who is that guy? He must not be an ordinary mortal since his power exceeds by dozens of times the power of a god, being on par with an angel. At that moment, a pink aura would cross the entire realm of nothingness. At that precise moment, Vegeta would remember Black. However, he did not believe it knowing that they were in the future locked in the time room. I don't know who the hell you are, but your power seems very familiar to an enemy I defeated a few years ago. So you defeated me, good for nothing prince. Do you want me to beat you back the way I beat you last time? I'm your worst nightmare. Black at that precise moment was able to give him a powerful blow which would make the Prince of the Saiyans spit blood. Meanwhile, in the stands of the spectators, Beerus had been surprised, since he knew that the power of Vegeta was not weak at all. Who is that guy? How was he able to bring Vegeta to his knees? Stand up, you bastard! 
Right now, we'll return the favor for leaving us in that damn room. We'll finish you all off. This can't be happening. You guys are... So you figured it out. That's right, we are Black and Goku, who you left us locked in the time room. And we've come to finish you all off. At that moment, Jiren would approach Black. I don't know what you want, but I won't let you interrupt the tournament of which I'll be the winner. I want to bring back my family, so go away! Black would ignore him, but at that moment, Jiren would direct a powerful blow. However, Kakara would stand in front of that great blow, stopping it with one hand. But the power had been so much, leaving their faces exposed. But if it's Goku, how is this possible? Was it he sealed in the future? Damn it! Black and Lord Goku are back! The power that they have obtained can't be calculated. If Black was able to bring my father to his knees... Beerus! Beerus! So you know that the traitor Vegeta left me locked in the time room and you weren't able to do anything! You're a bastard! That wasn't my problem, it's a mortal's business! Goku in that moment, Furious would give a scream, passing into the Super Saiyan Blue Phase 3. With a great blow, would send Jiren to fly and at a great speed, Goku would take Beerus by the head, dragging him all over the platform of the Tournament of Power. Beerus, without being able to do anything, only received such a brutal beating in a matter of seconds. Vegeta, without holding back, would increase his power to the maximum. That's right, Vegeta in that same moment began to increase his power to the max, and Block would observe this, would move away just a little bit. That's right, Prince. Increase your power to the maximum, because I want to crush you when you are using everything you have. Daishaken at that moment would about to launch himself to stop them, however in the words of Xenosama, would take him out of his thoughts. No Daishaken, this is too much fun. Let everyone face my friend Goku and the being that looks like Goku. But sir, this is a lousy idea. The power of both guys is incredible and it seems they're still far from their limits. This could be a lousy idea. Didn't you hear what the king said? Don't contradict him. Daishaken at that moment would only begin to observe everything that was happening. At that very moment, Vegeta had access to the Ultra Ego dominated 100%. With this power, I'm much more powerful than a god of destruction, so I can finish you quickly. All the gods of destruction were very astonished by the power of the Warrior of Universe 7. The power of that mortal is incredible! The only one who could face him would be Jiren, but despite that, he would have a very difficult battle with that Saiyan. Meanwhile, with the Saiyan Goku and Beerus, Jiren at that moment would enter the battle, giving a strong blow to Goku, which would make Goku release Beerus. I don't know who the hell you are, but the blow you dealt me earlier, I swear I'll return it to you by returning every one of your bones to ashes. I wonder if you can do it. You're a mere mortal with a little power. Jiren at that moment was furious and would raise his power to the maximum, creating a great stream of fire all around. The Vermouth God of Universe 7 would be a surprised when realizing that Jiren released 100% of all his power. However, Jiren's power was not the most surprising since at that very moment the powerful God among the 12 had accessed his transformation, which he had never used, and his destructive energy was shooting everywhere. The most surprised would be Black since the power of Beerus could not compare with anything to Beerus of his timeline. Apparently the power of that God at that time is much more powerful but it'll not be enough to kill Kakarot. Don't say stupid things, you hadn't had the training with an angel, so you don't know how to master his key. You're right, we didn't have the training with an angel. We are training with the king of everything from the future, a being much more powerful than the angels. The only one capable of facing us would be Daishenken. That can't be possible. What you're saying are simple lies. I don't care what you believe, even today you'll cease to exist. Vegeta, without caring about what Black had told him, would throw himself against him. However, Black dodged all his blows and that was Black who was dominating the Ultra Instinct. It was that Vegeta's power was very distant from Black's, and even Black was still in Super Saiyan Rose. He still then accessed his Phase 3. Meanwhile, Beerus and Goku would stare at each other and at that moment, the clash of their fists began to destroy everything around them. This is unbelievable! Mr. Goku's power has raised so high that he's even able to match Mr. Beerus 100%! 
I'm much more powerful than Mr. Beerus. I'll kill that damn Saiyan once and for all. Frieza at that moment would throw a treacherous attack, however Goku would realize it by teleporting quickly and with a strong blow would pierce Frieza, leaving him on the ground badly wounded even though Frieza was in his black transformation, he wasn't able to withstand such a blow. You better go back to hell, soon I'll send you to Vegeta's trash to keep your company. I hope you don't think of coming back to life. Goku at that moment without any mercy would throw a large sphere of red energy which would quickly disintegrate him, leaving everyone surprised, including Vegeta, who knew that Kakarot was not like that. Why are you so surprised? This is normal. The being that gave his life to protect you died. I'm Kakarot, the Annihilator. The essence of my friend Goku is pure evil. I don't like that. Guards, Daishaken, finish with both beings and don't let their souls go to paradise or hell. I want you to finish with all traces of their existence. Of course, Grace Zeno Sama, whatever you order. Daishaken would continue to observe everything that was happening. That's right, even the most powerful Daishaken Sama was nervous to witness how Beerus, the most powerful god of all, was not able to do anything against Son Goku. Both Guardians launched themselves against Goku, who was not able to dodge a combo attack, causing him some damage. Well, well, apparently all the beings of this era are much more powerful than the beings of the future. Black would leave Vegeta in terrible condition even making him return to his base state. I'm tired of playing with you. It's time for me to end your pathetic life. Black would begin to charge a large sphere of energy. However, in one leap, he was able to dodge Trunks, who was able to cut him with a sword. I forgot about you. I thought you had gone to another timeline, but this is perfect. I'll be able to finish you and the Duck Prince. Trunks, get out of here. You don't have the power to face him. He'll fish you off without even realizing it. Of course not! I'll become very powerful! I'm able to face this wretch! But the words of Vegeta had been true because Black at that moment, with a great blow, would leave him out of combat and would approach Trunks. As I know, the more the Saiyans get angry, the more their power increases. Let's see how much power you can increase with the death of your pathetic son. Black at that moment would create a great sword of energy which would cut the head of Trunks. All the gods and angels were very surprised by what Black had done. At that moment that the head of Trunks was about to fall to the ground, Black would make it ashes along with his body. With a great attack of energy, Vegeta, to witness the death of his son, began to increase his power again in a way so surprising that even would draw the attention of Goku. So Black ended the life of Trunks' insect. Apparently he helped him to reach a new level. Vegeta would continue to increase his power, activating the Ultra Ego again. But unlike before, the power that Vegeta emanated was much more destructive and powerful. That's much more credible. The power of Vegeta by the Fury was able to defeat his Ultra Ego at level 2. The Ultra Ego is a power that depends on the anger, unlike the Ultra Instinct which is able to calm and peace that the body possesses. Vegeta, without saying anything about it, would launch himself against Black. Meanwhile, Goku was finishing with both Guardians since he had left Beerus and Jiren very badly wounded so that they would not be hindrances in the battle. Damn, the power of those bastards is something big. They're focusing on me to use a little more of my true power. Simple mortal, you're nothing compared to us. I don't know what happened to you, but you would have stayed in the dimension you were in, and at least you wouldn't have died. I would have stayed in that place? <laughs> well, listen then. You made me furious, and right now I'll finish with each of you. Goku at that moment increased his power to the max, managing to observe the face of an Ozaru. That's right, Goku was transforming into Super Saiyan 4 Blue. The power that he released was so much that it made the whole kingdom shake out of nowhere. The power that Son Goku is releasing is amazing. I don't even know if I'd be able to stop it. The moment Goku finished his transformation, he began to exchange blows with the Guardians. But unlike before, this time it was Goku who was putting them in trouble. Goku's power had soared so much that the Guardians had no chance. I'm no longer interested in knowing about you, Vegeta. I'll finish you. I'll face Daishaken who will be a worthy rival. Black at that moment would take Vegeta by the neck despite having aggressive energy. The energy that Black was using was much more aggressive, managing to disintegrate Vegeta. I want to continue fighting. You choose. All the angels against me or a battle with the great priest Daishaken. 
Black had finished with the lives of Vegeta and Trunks in a few seconds. While Goku had been able to knock out Jiren along with Beerus, the most powerful god among the 12. Not enough with this, he was able to finish with Frieza. Goku would continue exchanging blows with both Guardians, which were putting him in some trouble. At that moment, Black would repeat again what he had said a few minutes ago. Would no one be able to face me? And then I'll choose my opponents. Black at that precise moment had launched himself against all 12 angels. That's right, Black had created a scythe of energy directed at all the angels. Angels, attack position! Finish with that damn Saiyan. The 12 guardian angels had placed themselves in battle pose to be ready to face Black. At that precise moment, all the angels launched themselves against Black, but to everyone's surprise, Black was dodging each of their blows. However, it was becoming very complicated. At that moment, a big explosion was felt in the whole kingdom out of nowhere. That's right, Goku had created a big explosion to send both guardians to fly, since Goku was in trouble. Wow, it seems they're worthy of fighting against 45% of my power. Goku at that moment increased his power a little more, and at an incredible speed, he had sent them both to fly with a few blows. However, the Guardians would not be left behind. Duel Divine Annihilator! At that moment, one of the Guardians sent Goku flying with a great blow, while the other began to charge a great attack, being even more powerful when the second Guardian had increased the destructive power of the attack. Apparently, they've ended the life of my friend Goku, but it was the best thing for the 12 universes. So the power that he was giving off was negative in its totality. After the smoke dissipated, everyone was able to observe Goku, who had stopped it with one hand, leaving both Guardians surprised, including Daishenken. Son Goku's power is big enough to take on both Guardians. It won't be easy at all to take these guys down. They've been good opponents but they're not able to give me a real battle. Goku at that moment would move at lightning speed, cutting the heads of both Guardians in a matter of seconds. Goku at that moment would appear in front of Daishenken. You're the one I want to fight with. I want to see for myself how incredible your power is said to be. Goku at that moment would direct a great fist to Daishenken, which was able to stop him. All the gods as well as the angels had rejoiced since their last hope had entered the battlefield. Daishenken at that moment would grant him a great blow, sending him to fly to hundreds of mountains around him. At that moment that Goku recovered, he would feel a great pain in all his face since that's where Daishenken had granted him a great blow. I know it'll be a difficult battle, but I know I'm capable of defeating you, mortal. We won't know until that fight happens. Meanwhile, with the battle of Black against the Angels, Black was a little hurt but on the part of the angels had already fallen eight of them, leaving only four. At that time, Black, to realize the power of Daishenken even exceeded the power of Daishenken at that time, Black began to take the battle much more seriously, being able to kill two more of them. That's right, Black had finished with a large sphere of energy, but at that moment he noticed that Vados and Wiss were still standing. We won't let you interrupt our father's battle. We know that Mr. Goku is much more powerful than you. If the two of you face him, it'll be a problem. You're right. Kakarot's much more powerful than me, but that doesn't mean you won't be able to stop me. Watch this. Black at that moment began to increase his power in an incredible way. Lightning fell all over the place. That's right, the power of an extremely powerful being had appeared again. Black in that instant had accessed the Super Saiyan Phase 4 Rose, leaving everyone surprised. Do you think you can face me with this power? <laughs> I doubt it, since they don't possess the necessary key to make even a scratch on me, and I'll leave them with proof of my power. Black at that moment would teleport appearing behind both angels, which were the most powerful. Regardless of this, Black began to humiliate them in an incredible way. Returning to the battle of Goku and Daishenken, the battle seemed to be very even. However, the power of Daishenken at every moment was becoming much bigger. While Goku was already using all his power, Daishenken at that moment in one of his fingers would create a large sphere of energy. At that moment of throwing it, it would become a giant sphere. Goku would try to stop it, but it would become useless. Goku was involved in that great explosion. Black at the moment had been able to end the lives of both angels, and in the same way he was surprised to not feel the key of Kakarot. Daishenken would return to observe him in an intimidating way, and without mediating words, began to give him a beating to Black. 
If Son Goku wasn't able to beat me, you won't be able to do anything to me. Kakarot, are you dead? This is the only beginning of our revenge. Daishinken, who was massacring Black at that moment, he realized that the whole kingdom from nothing would start to shake in an incredible way. At that moment, a great light would appear in front of everyone, and in the same way, you could see a Goku, which seemed to be in its base state, but something different, with the color of his eyes, which were an intimidating gray. Goku at that moment would observe Daishinken massacring Black, and at a speed that no one was able to observe, he was able to give a great blow, sending Daishinken to fly hundreds of meters back. Black, are you okay? Get away from here! I'll take care of that bastard! Kakarot, is that you? How did you get that power? This is unbelievable! Goku wouldn't say a single word. He just started to give some hits to Daishinken, which this time caused a lot of damage. After an exchange of blows where Daishinken was a little affected, Daishinken decided to increase his power a little more. Balancing the battle a little more, Beerus, who had already recovered thanks to the help of the other gods, was surprised to realize that Son Goku had been able to reach the Ultra Instinct. However, he had not mastered it 100% because at the time of attacking, Goku was still thinking about his movements. Beerus at that moment would observe how Black was recovering his energy. I must not give time to that other bastard to recover. If he does it, he'll be the end of us all. Even if I have to sacrifice myself for the 12 universes, I'll do it. Beerus at that very moment would launch an attack against Black, starting to fight in a very even battle. Since Black at the time of fighting with Daishinken had decreased too much with his battle level, not having the overwhelming power of before. Meanwhile with Xenosama, this was a very nervous to realize that not even Daishinken was able to end the life of Son Goku. Hell, if I don't do something, that miserable mortal will end my life. I must do something right now. Must not allow him to become more powerful. The battle between the two continued. However, when Black began to take a little advantage, all the 11 remaining gods had joined the battle. We're not beings of low power that you could just ignore. We're destroyer gods. Between all of us, we'll finish you off. Thanks, brother. I owe you one. At that moment, a great energy of destruction was approaching Black. That's right, six of the gods had launched that great attack with the intention of ending Black's life once and for all. However, the powerful Black was stopped in the great energy in an incredible way. Black at that moment was able to throw it to the sky where it exploded. At that moment, the 12 gods were launched against Black. Although their blows were not so powerful, they were able to do considerable damage by hitting in the same place for a few times. Damn it, these bastards have finished me off. I can't do anything. Meanwhile, with Goku, both were much more evenly matched. However, Goku in his mind would listen to his evil side, and his Kakarot would have been manifested. Goku, it's me, the sadistic, cold, murderous, cruel part of your whole being. I can make you activate 100% of the state you're using. Goku, while exchanging blows, was communicating with his inner part. How would you be able to do this? And why would I trust you? You're me, and I'm you. If you die, I'll die too. So what we do is to go back and be a being of one like we were born. Okay, if it makes my power increase, I'll do it, because I have to help Black. Understood, Son Goku. Energy van adaptation completed. Union finalized. F Ultra final instinct. Ultra perfect instinct activated. Goku at that moment began to fill with energy and a brightness that could be observed to Goku with white hair leaving Daishinken surprised, which had felt the increase of power in Son Goku. This can't be happening. Son Goku's power had skyrocketed. He even activated the perfect Ultra Instinct. That's practically impossible for a mortal. Goku at that moment would give a great blow to Daishinken, which would leave him on the ground badly wounded, and would quickly go to where Black was, ending the lives of some gods in one move. They have to finish with the lives of seven god destroyers. I guess you could do something about the other five. Don't defraud me, Black! Goku at that moment would quickly return to great speed, and with incredible precision would be able to give a beating to Daishinken, which this time was not able to do anything against the sand that had exceeded its limits. It seems that I have no choice but to invoke the demon god Demigra. If I don't do it, this bastard will kill everyone, including me. Xenosama at that moment began to recite a very old ritual which only Daishenken understood. Don't do it, Xenosama. This saying doesn't kill us, the demon god will. You must bet everything. 
My friend Goku's not the same as before. At that moment, a pentagram would form all over the kingdom out of nowhere. Nothing out of the ordinary is happening. That's right, the powerful Demigra, after millions of years, was just waking up. Goku, without giving it importance, would continue fighting with Daishenken. However, with only three minutes of the battle, Goku is about to give one of his final blows, just as Black was about to end the life of the God of Beerus. At that moment, both were dragged to the ground by a pressure which brought everyone to their knees. What? Why can't you move me? What's going on? Is this pressure even higher than the pressure of the king at all? At that moment, everyone would be surprised to observe a strange being. Gods, and Supreme Angel die shaken. We meet again after millions of years, but this time I'm here to help you, so don't worry. Demigra would return to observe both subjects, and at that moment, lightning began to fall all over the place as Demigra was increasing his power a little. The power that the demon god was releasing was an incredible power that would astonish everyone. Damn it, we're dead. The demon god hates divine beings. Millions of years ago, we were able to seal it, but the six supreme gods gave their lives to achieve it. Oh, apparently I have to eliminate a few ants. Don't worry, Daishenken, I can't attack the beings of the kingdom at all. In order for Xenosama to free me, we had to make a blood deal. Does the blood deal of a king of everything even exist? I was not aware that Xenosama has enough power to perform such a feat. I don't care who the hell you are, but if you interfere with my revenge, I'll end your miserable life this very instant. Simple mortal, measure your words before addressing your superiors. You don't want me to end your pathetic life in seconds. Goku, having totally united with Kakarot, had a much colder personality, but in the same way, they made him angry much more easily. Goku at that moment would launch himself at a great speed against Demigra, however, Demigra had stopped his blow with only one hand, and with a strong kick he would send him flying all over the combat platform. Black, who was facing Beerus, would realize what had happened, leaving him out of combat quickly. To kill you would have to be a mercy on you. First we'll make you suffer, but now we must finish with that damn. He has an incredible power. Black at that moment at an incredible speed that even Daishenken would be difficult to follow, he launched himself at a Demigra's attack. At that moment, he'd create an energy sword. However, when Black's sword touched Demigra's aura, it was destroyed into a thousand pieces. Is this a child's game? Do you really want to rule all the universes? The only thing we want is to finish with all the beings of the divine world. Even so, it would have been impossible. Since the power of Xenosama in his form of combat is comparable to mine, and if he has trained, he must surpass me. Black would be surprised since he didn't know that the King of All possessed a combat form. In that instant, thousands of thoughts passed quickly through his mind. What the hell? Why didn't the other Xenosama use his combat mode? Demigra, at that moment, without letting Black recover from the astonishment, at a great speed would begin to give him a few blows. However, from one moment to another, Goku would rush to Black's aid. Demigra, with the simple power of his eyes, had left him paralyzed. What do you think about the power of a demon god? This is my visual ability. Eye of evil! Goku at that moment, in spite of being with Ultra Instinct, was not able to dodge hundreds of blows that Demigra had attacked him with. At that moment, Goku and Black would both fall to the ground, very badly wounded. Meanwhile, in another multiverse, a beautiful goddess was watching everything that happened. The little Zen has invoked one of the demon gods, but the power he possesses does not compare to what we have sealed. The power of those two subjects can serve us. We do value the beings of great power, but I'll observe a moment more. Goku at that moment would stand up furious since no one had humiliated him in this way, while Black had returned to his base state and was in terrible condition. I don't care if my body's destroyed by what I'm going to do, but I'll take it to the limit. K.O. get power! Enlarge 20 times! Goku's power would explode in a few seconds, lodging himself against Demigra. But in the same way, he was surprised to see how Demigra had dodged his blow, despite having increased his speed in an incredible way. Goku at that moment would begin to give a rain of blows to Demigra, which only dodged without any effort. However, at that moment, Demigra would begin to attack in the same way, being able to give a few hits to Son Goku, cutting all his ki. That's right, his hits that Demigra was giving to Son Goku were hits with demonic power, 
which was able to stop the flow of energy for approximately 25 minutes. Being enough time to finish with any warrior, Goku at that moment would fall to the ground and return to his base state. That's right, Goku had been completely defeated. In spite of being sealed for millions of years, Demigra's power seems to have increased in an incredible way. By that time, he didn't use his true power. That's all you could do. You're still mere mortals. Die, demonic celestial aniquitator! A crimson red sphere was approaching towards both warriors who were unable to move a single finger. Damn it, it seems that even after training with the king, we haven't been able to do anything against this guy. At that moment, the whole place would freeze, as if someone had stopped time. There is no time, but I ask you, do you want revenge? Come and join our multiverse. We'll take care of making you formidable warriors. I don't want to die without making that damned god suffer. I accept. I don't want to be left behind, so I also accept. I think this is perfect. Then at that moment of impact, we'll teleport, and so everyone will believe that they were reduced to simple atoms. At that moment, everything would return to normal, and the great energy that had impacted, creating a great explosion all over that place. Two seconds before the attack impacted both subjects, Cirrus had quickly teleported them to her realm. Wow, my power has been so great that I didn't even leave a trace of those insects. Now that you're done with them, what do you plan to do? Don't worry, priest. I won't do anything that has to do with destroying universes. I just want to be the most powerful demon in existence. Demigra, you know what? If you start wrecking the 12 universes, I'll personally take care of you. I know, Xenosama, it's not necessary to repeat it. Demigra, at that moment, there would be a portal which, through this one, could observe a place similar to the underworld. Demigra, at that moment, would disappear, leaving all the others speechless. At that moment, Dai Shenkin would approach Xenosama. My lord, what shall we do with all the angels and the eleven fallen gods? The Tournament of Power has been cancelled. Use the Super Dragon Spheres to bring everyone back to life. Angel, God, Warrior, what has happened is maximum effort. What do you mean by maximum alert, my lord? Son Goku and the guy named Black have been defeated, and from what I could tell, Demigra seems to be afraid of their power. And they also are made the blood deal of a king of everything. The blood deal of a king of all can be annulled. If the being with whom I made it surpasses my power, and Demigra's power is not very far from mine. Daishenken at that moment had been paralyzed, knowing that if Demigra passed his power of Xenosama, this time everyone would die, and there was nothing or no one was able to do to defeat him. So your idea is to bring to life all the warriors, gods, and angels, to increase their power, and to be able to help in the battle against the demon god Demigra. That's right, Daishenken. The battle against Demigra will be the most destructive battle this multiverse has ever seen. Understand, my lord. At this very moment, I'll summon the Great Dragon. Daishenken at that moment summons the Super Shenron. Tell me what I can fulfill as a wish. Whichever one you want. Bring back to life all the beings that died since Goku and Black appeared in the Tournament of Power. That's a complicated wish, because among them are both of Xenosama's guardians, who have incredible power, but I can do it. At that moment, the dragon would raise the whole realm of nowhere, and the eyes would glow. That's right, at the instant all the gods, angels, and guardians would come back to life. Great Xenosama, we thank you for reviving us. It seems to be all over, but why do I feel such a tense atmosphere? Doshenkin at that moment started to explain everything that had happened with Son Goku until the arrival of the Demon God, who was able to defeat both of them. And why does he have a worried look on his face, Daishenkin sama Because the Demon Gods are natural enemies of the Divine Beings. Just like us, the Demon God is increasing his power in order to defeat us. I understand what you are getting at, Father. You want all of us, our gods and warriors of each universe, to increase their power to be able to help in the battle against the demon god Demigra. Or am I wrong? You're right, Wiss. The power of the demon god Demigra, he made it clear to us that he's capable of wiping us out if he just thunders his fingers. So we must increase our powers. 
Meanwhile, Vegeta and Frieza were the most furious because, despite having trained for so long and taking their bodies to the limit, Son Goku had defeated them without any difficulty, even humiliating them in the worst way possible. Damn insect, I swear I'll overcome your power and even go to hell to finish you once and for all. I can't believe that guy with the name Black was able to defeat me, the most powerful god. But Son Goku's power is still unmatched. If the god Demigro defeated him easily, that guy must be a monster. Meanwhile, in the realm of Multiverse 2, Goku and Black were on the verge of death. At that moment, a great sphere of energy of the golden color began to heal them quickly. After only three minutes, they were both 100% healed. Now that you're completely healed, I want you to explain to me why you want to finish with all the divine beings of the multiverse of Xenosama. First of all, thank you very much for saving us. Now, of course, I'll explain to you. Goku at that moment began to explain everything that had happened on planet Earth since he arrived until the moment they faced Black and Zamatsu in the future. Sirius at that moment would be very thoughtful knowing that both subjects had been betrayed, especially Goku, who had given his life for all his loved ones. I understand. Then I will help you become much more powerful, but I have to inform you something. If you finish with the king of everything Xenosama, one of you must be the new king of everything of Multiverse 4, because if a king dies and nobody takes his place, a megaversal catastrophe can occur. I understand, but of that, then there's no problem. Both of us will be new kings of everything. We'll train the gods not to be scum, but they first must be punished severely. In that case, let's start with the training beyond a king of the whole. At that moment, a being of a Saiyan race appeared that would appear in front of them. I'll be the warrior you'll face for the first six months. When you're able to defeat me, you'll be able to access the next level. For a Saiyan, you're too weak. You didn't even raise a little bit of ki. Goku and Black were again mortally wounded at the same moment, falling to the ground on the verge of death. Don't look at my ki, since my power is in another dimension which you're still not able to reach. Goku at that moment would access to Super Saiyan Blue while Black to Super Saiyan Rose. However, at that moment, Goku would get out of control expelling much more power. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.